from all the fanfare, this is yet another failure for PSG in the Champions League knockout stages. Once again, the Qatari back club has lost out when they needed to make a big step towards becoming one of Europe's elite clubs. And our French football expert, Fida Salecci, isn't happy about it. Well, basically everything that could have gone wrong went wrong yesterday. You look at the starting lineup for Barcelona and it's a statement from Luis Enrique saying to Emre, uh, come at me, score the first, score the second, finish the game. Luis Enrique came in with three uh, defenders and that was basically a golden chance for the DDC, Drexler, Di Maria and Cavani to finish the game and wrap it up in the first minutes. But they didn't do so. And I think Emre did not prepare his team, especially on the mental level, to, to enter this game and to play this game. They, they accepted their fate from the very beginning. They gave the ball to Barcelona. They let them take control of their fate. And eventually, if there's a team that's capable of such miracle, it's Barcelona. For, for a club such as PSG, this is a club that is not used to, to play in, in this level. This is a club that not used to compete in this level. The lack of experience, the arrogance too. They, they didn't see this coming. They did not uh, believe that this could physically happen. I mean, to talk about the reasons of why PSG cannot conquer Europe, you have to uh, look at it as, as a whole through the last five years and maybe compare it to Manchester City because both teams started this new experience of golf money at the same time. For PSG, they injected the money, they, they, they brought all the megastars, but they, they do not believe in traditions. They do not believe in, in creating history by, by building youngsters, by building this generation. And the thing that, that I cannot understand is that whenever I'm in Paris, what I notice most in football is these youngsters. I mean, Paris is, is a gold mine of, of young talent. And it's, it's, the diversity there is unbelievable. You got African youngsters, you got Latin, you got American, you got Asian, all kind of football coming together in that city. And PSG chooses not to look to that and instead buying megastars. The day they start creating tradition in that team, the day they start bringing youngst youngsters and, and, and creating a very serious uh, youth center, not like the one they have today, that's the day where PSG will start thinking about conquering Europe. But as long as they're injecting money and just buying stars, PSG will never become a Champions League champion.